Welcome students. Today we are going to learn about rain water harvesting. Water is very essential for the survival of mankind. It is very essential for sustaining the life. It was considered free gift of nature and was sufficient for man's needs. But nowadays it is becoming a scarce commodity day by day due to the exploding population. There is much more demand of water resources for various activities like drinking, cooking, heating, industrialization, urbanization or very much other activities like constructional activities which is leading to water crisis. India is facing severe water shortage in many states including Rajasthan, Gujarat, Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh, etc. Conflicts are going on for the sharing of water resources at the national as well as international level. In India, conflicts are going on for the sharing of water of Krishna, Kaveri, Son Canal, etc. At the international level also, the longest river of the world, Nile, is under conflict for the sharing of water resources between many nations. In Punjab, the conflict is going on for the sharing of water of Vyas and Satluj. Case is pending in the Supreme Court for the sharing of water resources. It means there is possibility of water world war in the near future due to the increasing demand. Hence, there is a need to adopt the rainwater harvesting. Why rainwater harvesting? Because rainwater is purest form of the water except the first few showers of the rain. What is rainwater harvesting? It is simply collection and storage of rainwater. Rainwater can help us to put the supply of water back to the normal levels. All of you know very well nowadays due to the various agricultural crops, especially paddy, the water table is declining day by day. So this rainwater can be put on track by artificial recharging of underground water, which can be easily done by rainwater harvesting. Unfortunately, in India, there is more water on the roads than in the taps. The rainwater which goes waste should be harvested for the artificial recharging of underground water table so that we can raise the declining water table. In this way, we can do the rainwater harvesting by adopting the rooftop harvesting. So, what is rooftop harvesting? It is collection of rainwater from the rooftop for the underground recharging of water table. So, rainwater can be easily collected from the rooftops of the houses, educational institutes, hospitals, as rooftop is always brick lined and there is availability of well connected drainage system in every building also. The rainwater from the rooftop can be collected in a temporary reservoir as you can see in the figure or the artificial reservoir. This water is allowed to pass through the filtration media. This filtration media is constituted by three layers, layer of stones, gravel and sand. So all the impurities which can be in the rainwater will settle down on the filtration media and this filtered water can be allowed to pour into underground water table which can help us to recharge the underground water table as shown in the figure. Next is recharge pits. Recharge pits are very good option to collect the rainwater. It is a conical depression like cavity in which rainwater can be collected. It will cause percolation of the water slowly to the deeper layers of the soil and help to recharge the underground water table. Recharge pits can be constructed in the lawns or the gardens or the parks in your nearby locality. You can see in the figure 
that recharge pits help us to recharge the water of our own vicinity or locality next is recharge trenches recharge trenches are rectangular pits of various sizes in sandy beds for the artificial recharging of the rain water so all of you know very well that we normally in india we do the constructional activities in the months of summer so we can evacuate the sand in the form of trenches in the months of summer for the constructional activities and in the months of rainy season those rectangular trenches can be filled up with the rain water and rain water percolates very fast in the sandy beds it goes into the deeper layers it helps to recharge the underground water table it also avoids the overflowing or over flooding of rain water in the nearby villages or the fields it means it helps to arrest the floods also abandoned hand pumps and wells can also be used to recharge the underground water table any empty well can be used as a recharge structure the rain water can be collected in temporary reservoir and allowed to pass through filtration media and can be poured into empty hand pump and the well because empty hand pump or the well they are already in contact with the underground water table for example in punjab university chandigarh we are collecting the rooftop water and it is poured down after passing through the filtration media into the bandent well so we can utilize such structures in the places where they are available in this way rain water harvesting can prove boon to the mankind by conservation of rain water so many exemplary channels or the water recharging structures are available at golden temple also the sarovar which is daily or after some days it is discharging the water same water can be used for the water recharging through the water recharging channels it is one of the very good initiatives by the punjab government and many educational institutes are also having rain water harvesting units so the rooftops of the educational institutes their auditoriums or the big buildings they can help to recharge the underground water table it will also avoid the over flooding of the rain water on the roads and here also we can save the economy because roads will not get damaged and plus rain water will be going straight away to the downpour areas many of the lawns can also receive the good amount of the rainfall so this rainfall also help to recharge the underground water table wherever we are having grassy lawns or the grassy areas grassy pathways they can also help to recharge the water table in the end we can conclude rain water harvesting is very very good option to save the water resources in this way we can avoid the water world war rather there should be maximum efforts by the youngsters or the youth we should adopt the rain water harvesting and we should share these ideas with our friends and family also i hope so you like the video thank you very much kindly share and subscribe with your friends thank you very much